This video is brought to you by The Fifth Watches. Stick around to the end of the video to learn more about the gorgeous new Tokyo line of The Fifth Watches. Welcome back to the Vita Boys, you PlayStation gamers. Now it should come as no surprise that Final Fantasy XV is one of the most anticipated games of the year. The title has been worked on now for the last 10 years and ever since its initial announcement in 2006 for the PS3, people have been dying to play this game. Seriously, it's starting to get out of control. However, there's been a lot of things announced about the game that might be helpful for you to know before jumping in head first. Before we get started, I'd like to tell you guys about a giveaway I'm hosting on my channel in association with the Vita Boys. We'll be giving away 5 game codes for Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor along with 2 $20 PlayStation Network cards just as a way of giving back to you guys. To be entered, all you have to do is click the link in the description below and subscribe to my channel Bitbyte and for extra entries make sure to subscribe to the Vita Boys. Winners will be announced October 23rd, 2016. Again, all you have to do to be entered to win is subscribe to Bitbyte and the Vita Boys channels. Now without any further ado, let's check out Final Fantasy XV, everything you need to know. So the first thing you should probably understand is that the wait isn't exactly over, but we can expect to see the game by the 29th of November on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, which isn't too far away. Yes, it is kind of annoying that we still don't have the game yet, but let's try and keep our cool and not try to act like, well, this guy. I feel good as I said that all. As of now, the game is near complete, but the developers don't want to have to worry about any glitches day one, so it's nice to see that this game is being held at such a high standard by Square Enix, but man, talk about a hype train. Now there is a reason this game has taken so long to make, and it's because it's one of the biggest and most detailed titles I've seen in a long while. The world is massive and open this time around, being focused more on exploring and finding new secrets. There are cities upon cities, all with different things to do. Don't fear though, as there is a much better way to travel than just simply walking around. Your car will help you get around much faster because yes, it can also fly. The car transforms from your everyday vehicle into your own personal airship in a matter of moments making you look just so ridiculously awesome. On top of this, your vehicle is completely upgradable, making the ship entirely your own. You play as Prince Noctis, the heir to the kingdom of Lucius, with your father being King Regis. He's got quite an attitude and doesn't want to listen to anyone, so he dismisses his royal overseers because, well, he's just such a badass, and instead of following the rules, he gets mixed up in a whole bunch of insane situations with his friends since it's still his duty to protect the crystal of Lucius and take up arms to Niflheim. Did I also mention that Noctis has the ability to sense when other people are going to die, can summon weapons, and teleport. I mean like, dang, this kid's got a lot going for him. A game that looks this good can really draw you into the world. Square Enix definitely noticed this and wanted to join in on the virtual reality fun, but honestly, it's not why you should get this game. Yes, if you buy the headset, there is a mode where you can shoot down enemies from different positions on the map, but it's not the most polished experience I've seen. With this title, it's really more of an entertaining demo so far that will hopefully be expanded on in the future. If you want a reason to pick up PSVR, there are many upcoming virtual reality games that will do a much better job of showcasing immersion and gameplay, but hey, Final Fantasy in VR is still pretty awesome. That oughta do her. Magic and combat in this game are both some of its greatest strong points. You're able to harness energy and change it into elemental abilities. You can approach different spells in different ways by customizing and creating your own style of magic with fire, ice, and lightning, and just straight up creating something called a death spell that does, well, this. Now keep in mind the way you cast spells is actually quite new as spells have different effects on individual environments and enemies, meaning that you actually have to take into account where you are, who you're targeting, and just tinkering around to figure out what works best in different situations. Selecting your target is actually quite strategic in this game with something called wait mode where everything kind of just slows down as you prepare for your next move. This game kind of perfectly blends the fast-paced combat of Kingdom Hearts games while hearkening back to good old turn-based combat combat, which is just, mmm, beautiful. Great job. 10 out of 10, okay? This video has been brought to you by The Fifth Watches. The Fifth provides gorgeous new watches on the 5th of each month. Their new Tokyo range of watches launch this month on the 5th, and as you can see, are naturally beautiful. In addition to the Tokyo range, The Fifth has two other collections, including the Melbourne Minimal and the New York Classic. 
Head on over to the fifth.co and enter the code VITABOYS for 10% off, dropping the price from $95 to $85 with free shipping and returns if you're crazy enough to send back these gorgeous pieces of work. Head on over to fifth.co today and remember your discount code VITABOY. Yeah, we're the Vita Boys here for you. Check back every week and stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe today to be notified. Stay up to date. We are covering everything PS Vita. Week the game giveaways, come see us. Gameplays, unboxing, reviews, and more. With a lot coming and more in store. We're the Vita Boys and we're here for you. Check back every week.